friends you welcome on learning with l and r and today i am going to discuss with you regarding the gantt chart and it is given by henry lawrence gantt uh, from 1861 to 1919 a gantt chart is a graphical representation of the duration of task against the progression of time right it is a type of bar chart that illustrates a project schedule allow to assess how long a project should take okay it is the uh, the time duration it is in this gantt chart the time duration given in the form of bar chart okay gantt charts monitor progress it can immediately see what should have been achieved at a point in the time okay then how to make gantt chart can be it can be created with simple tools like on excel but specialized tools like microsoft project make it easier there are various steps first one list the tasks in the project then add task durations then add dependencies then lay out all the bars on the graph then there is example simple research project gantt chart there is a total 24 week for the research and in this there are various activities like Submit assignment, then write up, then analyze task data, conduct research, finalize methodology, submit represent proposal, decide methodology, decide research topic, preliminary research, then choose research area. Actually, there is from uh, from top to bottom. First of all, choose choose research area. After that, preliminary research, decide research topic from from choose research area to submit assignment there are total 24 weeks and in this gantt chart we can clearly see about the progress of this project right then characteristics the bar in each row identifies the corresponding task the horizontal position of the bar identifies the start and end times of the task after that bar length represents the duration of task then task durations can be compared easily after that good for allocating resources and rescheduling then precedence relationships can be represented use, using arrows critical activities are usually highlighted then slack times are represented using bars with dotted lines then the bar of each activity begins at the activity earliest start time then the bar of each activity ends at the activity latest finish time there are various advances it is a simple okay we can easily def uh, we, we can easily analyze the things or good visual communication to others Take durations can be compared easily, then good for scheduling resources. After that, disadvantages, dependencies are more difficult to visualize. Then, minor changes in data can cause major changes in the chart. Right. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you understand about this.